The brother with the most vivid imagination out there can't imagine what the kingdom of heaven has in store, what it's going to be like. Well, we're basing the kingdom of heaven as far as riches and having a good time and things of that nature. It's just based off of our experiences in this world and what we think having a good time is and living the life is. No one, no matter how vivid a brother's imagination is, there's nothing in comparison to what's coming. You can't even imagine it. You can't even paint into pictures or write into words or give an explanation that even comes close to the majesty that's coming. We are destined for greatness in the new righteous kingdom. When we think about the kingdom, most brothers think of like a small minute terms. No, but the vastness of the kingdom, the greatness of the kingdom, dealing with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and the information alone that we're going to receive when we get to the kingdom. That's on a whole nother level. Never mind the riches and the lands and the women and the children and, you know, to be in your chariot, you know, sipping some yayan, you know, on your chalice, your gold chalice with all them rubies and emeralds and sapphires and, you know, the different precious stones going to places. Thou will show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. There are pleasures forevermore at thy right hand. So the kingdom that's coming is going to be set up and established in righteousness. The Israelites are going to be changed. Thy people shall be all righteous. Not one Israelite is going to be lost because the promise that the Most High made to Abraham was to all that seed. And the seed of the promise went from Abraham to Isaac to Jacob. Every seed that came out of Jacob is a part of the ones that are going to receive the benefits that the Most High promised to blessed Abraham. <laughs>